I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. My God is the one and only true living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Moses. My God is God. There is no other. There is no other. My God set his children free from bondage out of Egypt with a heavy, heavy hand. And my God parted the Red Sea for his children to cross on dry land. And my God fed his children manna from heaven for 40 years in the desert. For what is too hard for my God? Nothing. Nothing. And my God will do all his pleasure. And I know. I know. Because over and over and over, example after example, in the Bible, shows that God always, always rescues his remnant from destruction, from his wrath. He always does. He always has and he always will. So I'm trusting in God. It's time to put our full faith in God and nothing else, nothing by man, nothing else, but God and God only. And I give him all the praise, all the glory, all the honor forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. One day soon, the trumpet of God will sound. And there'll be a shout of an archangel. So loud it'll raise the dead. And the dead in Christ, they will come out of their graves to be with Jesus and the Lord in the clouds forevermore. And then we, which are left alive and faithful, faithful in the Lord, we will be caught up in a twinkling of an eye. We will be caught up to meet Jesus in the clouds and be with him forevermore. Please come, Lord. Please come. Please come, Lord. But when I pray that, I also pray that I will be done. I will be done. I have, I have a connection with David Wilkerson. He had visions of the last days, the end, the end days. He had visions of economic collapse, of war, Russian troops on American soil, the destruction of America. And I've had he had visions and I had dreams. And in, in my books, in my books that I wrote, it was as if the Holy Spirit was sitting beside me while I was, while I was writing my books. And he was giving me things. And I didn't know it at the time. But then after, in fact, couple of years after I published my books one day I was reading one of his books and I noticed that he used certain phrases and certain catchwords that I had used and he wrote his books in the oh, mid to late 70s this book here uh, set the trumpet to thy mouth this was written in 1985. And he, uh, he used a, a lot of the phrases that I use. And even, even some sentences, now they, they weren't all exactly word for word. There was a word here and a word there that would be changed, but the idea of it was still exactly the same. And even 
and even paragraphs. There were par paragraphs where they were very close in the wording. And like I said, just a word here and a word there was changed. And I said, I think the same Holy Spirit that was with David Wilkerson in his visions and in his writing, I think it's the, the very same Holy Spirit that was with me when I wrote my books that gave me things, told me things, told me that America was Babylon and told me that America would be destroyed in one hour. That's what David Wilkerson said. He told me that much calamity was coming to America. In effect, America has sinned a great sin. America was a golden cup in God's hand. And we defile that golden cup. So now judgment comes. A lot of people, a lot of people will tell you that we're in, in the tribulation, but, but we're not. We're not. I know times are bad and times are only going to get worse. Only going to get worse. We haven't seen anything yet. I know I seem sad, <clears throat> but I, I'm sad for the lost because they have no idea what's coming right at them. And I wish, I pray that there be something, some way, something I can do to reach more people, to reach the lost. But I have done, I have done all that the Holy Spirit asked me to do. I've written books, made websites, made YouTube videos, I've spoke. I have the Azusa Street Ministry that I speak. <clears throat> but I am banned from speaking at my former church. And I think that I'm probably banned at most churches. Because when they read my book, I'll, I'll, I've sent them my books. They never contact me back. But like David, David Wilkerson says, their blood is up, up on their hands. Once they've been warned, their blood is on their hands. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. I set a watchman over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Jeremiah 6 and 17. There are many watchmen who are giving warnings. I'm just one of many. Crying out in the wilderness. Crying out in the wilderness. Begging to be heard. Begging that our warnings be heeded. Things are only going to get worse. War is coming to America. Economic collapse is coming to America. And there ain't a thing I can do about it. It's not a thing anybody can do about it. Judgment comes. We demand judgment. Because America has forsaken God in so many ways. In so many ways. I feel sorry for America. I feel sorry for the people. I just wish they would hearken. I wish they would listen, open their ears to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Because there's not much time left. Not much time left. Our time grows short. Our time grows very short. Very short. Mm, very short. So please, 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 you do not want to be here for the tribulation. Death and horror. Destruction. On a global scale, billions, billions will die. Demons will be released. 
fallen angels will walk this earth again destroying everything in front of them. People will become possessed by demons and do unspeakable things. Unspeakable things. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Please, please, please get right with the Lord, please, please, there's nothing else, there's nothing else, there's nothing else, nothing, nothing can save you except Jesus, 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 it's the only thing that can save you or me or anyone from what's coming, it's going to be bad. And when you say things cannot get any worse, they will. They will. I had electrical problems in my home. I had to go without power for only a day. And for three or four days before that, I could only run things that had low currency draw. I couldn't use anything that had 220 volt. Couldn't use my... Uh, clothes dryer, couldn't run the heat and air conditioning in the home, couldn't uh, couldn't cook, didn't have any hot water. So what are we going to do when the power is totally out? No power. Many people will sit in their homes in the dark and the cold, hungry, wearing dirty clothes, and be filthy because they can't take a bath. When the power goes, the gas goes, the water goes, bad times are coming. Get in the safety of Jesus Christ. Get in the ark. Get in the ark. Time is so close. Time is so close. I can't I can't tell you the time. I can't tell you the day. All I'm giving is hints. But the hint is that it's so close. So close. So close. I hear people say December 7th. I hear people say December 24th, December 25th. By the end of this year, I don't know. It's close. It's close. It's close. So if your garments, if they're stained, if they have wrinkles or spots, you need to get your garments clean because Jesus is coming very soon. And if you're not saved, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, get on your knees. Humble yourself before Almighty God, the one who spoke the whole universe into existence with words, with words, because words have meaning, power, and might to my God. And repent of your sin. Repent of all of it. Repent of it all. Repent of all your sin. And beg and, and plead the blood of Jesus. Wash over you. Wash you clean. Wash all your sin away. Wash you white as snow. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, Lord, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And then beg Jesus to enter into your heart and give you a new heart and lead you and guide you every step of the way for the rest of your days upon this earth. Because we all need to wash our garments, get them all clean, get them spotless, get all the wrinkles out of our garments. Get all the wrinkles out of our garments. And just because you attend a church and support that church, that doesn't that doesn't guarantee you that you'll go in the rapture. You need to be in the Word of God. You need to be in the Word of God. You need to be following Jesus, not following men. I have made mistakes, but the mistakes I made was when I followed men rather than follow God and listening to the Holy Spirit. That's when I made my mistakes, following men. 
And I don't plan on following men into hell. I plan on following my Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, into paradise. And we pray, our prayer is that we see you there on that day. That we see you there on that day. Every one of you have been a blessing to us. An absolute blessing. A gift from God. And we thank God. We thank God for sending you to us. And we love you also very much. And remember, in these last days, what you say and what you do is so very, very important. More important than it's ever been. I told you they'd be a horn blast, didn't I? Another sign, another sign from God. Oh, Lord, please, Lord, please, please, Lord. I told you, I told you there'd be a horn blast. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, oh, Lord, oh, please, please, Lord, please forgive me my sins. Please forgive me my sins. Please forgive me my sins. Please. I beg. I beg. Plead the blood of Jesus. Wash over me. Wash all my sin away. Wash me clean. Wash me white as snow. Wash me white as snow. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And I beg you, enter into my heart, Lord. Give me a new heart. Give me a new heart. Because I know. I know. This earth is not going to be any place, any place to be left behind. No place to be safe. Nothing will be safe. Only safety is in you, Lord. The only salvation is in you, Lord. Nothing else. Nothing else. And the things of this earth, our position, our power, our money, our might, our property, our possessions, none of that will mean anything will mean anything mean anything once we're on the streets of gold thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord because when you have Jesus you have everything you have everything you need if you have Jesus because you'll have need of nothing else nothing else will matter if you have Jesus have Jesus in your heart and none of this stuff will matter because we're going home soon. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. With all my whole heart, I love you, Lord. I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.